Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I have a quick little video for you because I'm going to do an unboxing of Creality's new scanner, the CR Scan Ferret. So if you're unaware, uh, there are currently two other models, the CR Scan 01 and the CR Scan Lizard, and this is their latest one, the CR Scan Ferret. It does use new software, which I'll get into in future videos on how to use this. This video is just going to take us through the actual unboxing and having a quick look at the scanner itself. So the first thing you may notice is it is extremely small, like tiny. Almost the size of the uh, lizard itself is probably about this big. So this is the packaging you'll get just um, with the shipping labels all torn off. So once you open the box, you're going to be greeted with this soft case inside. So we'll take that out and there's basically nothing else in there. And we get this nice uh, protective case. It's nice and compact. It's a little squishy, like you can sort of, you know, push into it. And it's kind of like that um, fabric sort of finish. So it's quite nice. It's got the Creality logo on the front and literally nothing else. A little strap on the side to carry it and just a zip opening. To give you an idea of the size, having a look here, it's about 180 uh, long, about 15 centimeters tall and about 77 centimeters thick. So inside is everything you need. If we open this up, just a little zip thing on the side here. And the first thing you're going to see is obviously the instruction manual. So your typical sort of instructions on basic use and setup. Then inside the box up the top here, you have another zip compartment. If we get into here, a couple of cables, which I'll show you in a second. Uh, so there's just a little Allen key and you'll have two cables. So this cable is for connecting to a phone and I'll explain that in a moment. So USB-A with two USB connectors on the end there. And this one is a longer cable. This is USB, these are 3.0 USBs as well. And then USB-C on the end that connects to the scanner itself. Probably about maybe a meter and a half long. So this is for connecting directly to your PC, Mac or maybe a laptop. Inside the rest of the package, you have a phone mount. You've probably seen these around before. Uh, this is a little shoe mount, which I'll explain in a moment. This one's an interesting one, and it is uh, your tripod, but you probably noticed there is a USB connector because this is also a power bank. So you can power the CR scan ferret from your tripod, and I'll explain that in a moment as well. And finally, for the main event, this is the scanner, the CR scan ferret. So we take it out of the packaging and here it is. So you can see it's obviously very, very small. These are the cameras on the front. You just got some Creality logo on the top and a little mounting point on the bottom. And then just the back of it on this side here. So incredibly small. Actually, if I measure it, looks like it is I'm going to use millimeters, so 120 millimeters long, about 25 millimeters deep, and 30 millimeters wide. Incredibly small little device. Um, compared to the tripod, it's like almost the same size as this tripod, so really, really small. So let's put this case to the side, and I'm going to explain some of the components here. So what's special about the CR Scan Ferret is that one, you can connect it directly to the PC and scan that way as you would with another, you know, common 3D scanner. The other interesting thing about it is that you can actually connect this to a phone and do your scanning outside in a portable nature. Now it's not fully recommended to, you know, do the scanning from a phone and such. It's going to be quite power hungry and needs quite a um, capable phone of doing that but it is capable of doing it. So the way you do it, first, if you were to connect this direct to a, a PC, obviously you'd take your long cable, you'd connect the USB-C, there's a little port on the side here, so you'd connect it like that, and then just run your USB-A to your laptop. And the, the software is currently usable on Mac and Windows. The other option you have, and if you were to just be doing this on PC, you'd probably just connect 
the shoe to your scanner like this and then just connect that straight to it doesn't you don't have to use this tripod obviously you can use any tripod uh, since it's all a standard connector but that would be basically how you could connect it to a pc but if you wanted to connect this to a phone what you can do is slide this part in tighten it up actually we should have that the other way because the phone's going to be facing us tighten it up connect the tripod to the bottom and then using a phone you would connect it into here and then you would obviously connect your cable so you'd put your usb cable in here uh, i've kind of butchered the best way of routing this but you can probably get the idea <laughs> so obviously you'd probably want the usb to go this side to here to here um, it's not going to work if you try and go this way and then you go across there but you get the idea of what i need to do so obviously you go something like that you can scan using an android phone it has to be android currently i'm not sure if they're going to come out with an ios version of the app would be really nice if they do hopefully they do but you would be able to take this outside scanning with the app on an android phone preferably a most recent android phone maybe like an s21 or s20 even better if it has usb 3 uh, enabled on it as well but that means you can take this outside. It's rated to work outside in very high contrast situations. So out in sunlight quite well. Uh, I'm yet to test this myself, but if the advertisement's anything to go by, it should be quite capable of just scanning things outdoors, which is really interesting because you could go out into your garden or to maybe an art exhibition, maybe some sort of outdoor sculpture exhibition, anything you want and take this with you and this can literally fit in your pocket as well i can't show you but it this is way you know if, if this is a phone that's fitting in your pocket it's smaller than the phone in the end it's going to be obviously a bit thicker but i mean i'd rather carry this in my pocket than this so that is basically the cr scan ferret and obviously these are the components it comes with so your cables your shoe your phone mount and your tripod with battery and of course the CR scan ferret itself which just uh, re I really can't get over how small this is. I have used this a little bit just to do a quick scan to give you an idea of sort of the scale of objects it's going to scan. This is a typical model I scan just because it's a nice sort of pastel finish so it picks up on scanners really well there's not too much crazy detail but it's got a nice kind of shape to it which can sort of push scanners to their limits while also making it a bit of an easy task for them. The ferret is quite capable of scanning this. I did a quick 10 minute scan and it was able to scan it pretty well. It missed a couple of spots in the bottom which I'll get into in later videos but it was also able to capture all the color details and texture map it in literally like 10 minutes. It was crazy. When I was using the lizard to do uh, texture mapping I would give up because it would take two hours just to process and most of the time it would crash which you wouldn't find out until the end of the two hours so you just waste so much time trying to do color scanning with you know other 3d scanners that i just gave up on that feature i found it was a bit of a gimmick but with this i mean it really does do it super fast so i'm, so I'm excited to play around with it more and show you what it's capable of it does have new software that comes with this one so it's not going to be compatible with the cr scan lizard software which is reality studio i think cr studio there is a new software called reality scan which is just compatible with this currently i know it's annoying that they're releasing all these new scanners and all these new softwares to go along with it but it's just kind of the structure of the industry of how things sort of progress and move forward but the good thing is that means I can do some more videos on how to use the software specifically for this and how to get the best scans from that. Keep an eye out for more content related to how to scan with this. I'm gonna have to, looks like I'm gonna be doing another user guide video series for the CR scan. <laughs> All right, so I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please subscribe, like the video. Your support means so much for, to me. I'm almost at 2000 subscribers now. So just let's try and get it over that line. It'd be amazing. And share this video with anyone that might have this scanner and be looking for some content. So thank you very much. Catch you in the next video.